Hey guys, welcome back to Economics and Comics. This is your top 10 new comics to buy March 8th. This is a pretty exciting video. I got a lot of fun stuff planned for you, as well as a great giveaway, so please stay tuned. Okay guys, as I was saying, this is going to be a fun video. I'm actually filming it Friday night. I'm going to drop it on Saturday night instead of Sunday. Give it a little bit more time for you guys to watch. And please, watch my pre-order video. The reason I, why I spread them out two days is so that you can watch a pre-order video for a couple days. It is an important video, so I hope that you watch it after. And I hope you watch this whole video because I'm making it especially early for you. First things first, the prizes that I you could win. Oh, sorry. These are the prizes for last week's. Uh, people that commented you guys 120 130 people commented and like almost 3,000 people watched all you got to do is subscribe and comment and you get entered in so first is the Lee Rogers giveaway giveaway is a silk number one Sabine rich variant cover which is sick a uh, store exclusive and venom number 11 this is the older venom awesome cover like a almost like an Iron Man alcohol homage cover i'm sure that's what it is these prizes are super sick okay so next week will be some new prizes i'll show the winners at the end of this make sure to comment subscribe like i'm going to be showing you images um today of spoilers and so on depending on what it is there are some funny things in this and there are some keys but first i want to talk about a couple covers and there are a lot this week Let's start with Deja Thoris, number one, cover A. There's a bunch of covers I like this lyrics, Lee. Batman, Joker, Deadly Duo, cover B and C. They connect. Children of the Black Sun, number three, cover C is the giant size X-Men homage. Fantastic Four, number five, the Alex Ross scroll cover. Joker, the man who stopped laughing, cover C. The Kunkka limb cover is the best cover of the week. And the cover B, Bermejo. Nightcrawler's number two, the Anatomy cover. Predator number one, the Baron's cover. Spawn 339 cover B. This is like a homage to Spawn 1 and Spawn 50, I think. Uh, yeah, I think so. Star Wars High Republic 6, the Momo cover. And X-Men 20, the Ross Dark Phoenix cover. Now, I'm going to show you more covers in a second, which go along with the the books i'm going to show you i hope you guys are having a great weekend let's start with a couple i got one new number one i'm going to talk or talk about three books four books before well whatever before we hit the top 10 i'm going to tell you a couple things there's a new book called clear number one coming out i feel like they've done this book somewhere before i'm not sure uh but i can't remember now Poison Ivy number 10. We have the Jenny Frizen cover and the Joshua Middleton cover are just so awesome. But uh, I want you to see this. This is in the book. It is like a full non-nude orgy scene. I don't know what's going on there. Uh, but it's in there. <laughs> That's what she said. Uh, Adventure Superman John Kent number one. Cover A, Clayton Henry. Um... There's a Zoo Ozer cover too. I don't think there's... I mean, it's just all multiverse stuff. Everything. But uh, it says, Who's the mysterious woman alongside him? And what is her shocking connection to the super family? It's Red Tornado, a.k.a. Lois Lane. Um, which has appeared before, I think. Bloodline, Daughter of Blade, number two, the Tau cover. She, she vamps out in this issue. Blade is in it too, but she vamps out in this issue a little bit, kind of uncontrollably. I don't know if there's a key in there. But anyway, that's a cool cover. Batman 133, we have the Art Germ cover, which is sick. Um, there's a foil one too. And the Derek Chu 1 and 25 is fire. Uh, but in this book, he Batman finally takes his place as the Batman in this multiverse. There's some little things going on here and there, but and he's got like a kind of makeshift Batman outfit. But it is interesting. He digs up his old body too and finds out, or his body from that multiverse. 
finds out some things there. I, I'm enjoying the read. This read was a little bit less than the others, but they're going to build. It's Batman's been great. And Avengers 66, the Ultron cover. Do you guys? I ordered like 30 or 40. They were all damaged. Uh, this was a real bad week for damages. So I have requests and replacements on so many books. So I will hold some orders back, but I will get you the good books. Uh, the only reason I brought that up is because there's like tons of appearance in, in this Avengers book, which will finish in the Forever book. But uh, there's just all types of things possible, first appearances. But it's getting to the point of being silly. All right, top 10. Star Wars Sand Staros number two. Now, keep in mind, I could have missed some things. I read like 30 books, so. Um, okay, there's a, I'm going to show you here on this panel. There's a character called Avon Staros. Now, I did some research. I don't think she's ever appeared in a comic book. She's appeared in like books, book books. Um, but this could be the possible first appearance of Avon Staros in a comic book as in a flashbook, uh, flashback memory type of scene so that could be something interesting there are a couple pictures of her so could it be a first appearance in a flashback probably if is it a big deal i don't know number nine star wars bounty hunters number 32 cover inferno squad cover um i think it's the first appearance of Iden versio who's part of the inferno squad she's in the book um, so if it is a first appearance, she's in there, but she's also on the cover and there was a cameo over in the 31 issue. Okay. Number eight, new mutants, lethal legion. Number one, Hmm. Every one of those were damaged. Very frustrating. Oh my God. It wasn't nor it was the printing error damage. It's just, so I'm hoping to get replacements on that. There's a new lethal legion, new mutants, crew in there showing this here and then you know first appearance of blaster dame and fisticus i don't know if that means anything i'm sure there's other appearances as well number seven batman joker deadly duo number five now we already showed the, co the connecting covers but it's been building up and we see appearance of this chick who is donald sim's daughter who I think was is dead. I think she's been the one that's been organizing this whole thing. I don't know if that's a big deal or not, but there it is. Number six is Flash 794. So, first of all, uh, here's the cover eight. Jay Garrick, the original Flash, is in this, Grandpa. But Ivy West has her new outfit, and she gives herself a new name, Thunderheart. <coughs> Wasn't there that movie with Val Kimber, Thunderheart? Number five, Mary Jane and Black Hat number four. So we have the Alex Ross Black Hat cover, which is sick. And the Donovan cover, which is really good too. But in this book, Mary Jane turns into some crazy superpower blue chick. And she's in it a lot. And uh, Felicia calls her Captain Universe for a second. As a joke, maybe, though. So first full appearance of the blue Mary Jane superpower chick? I don't know. Number four is Scarlet Witch, number three. I like the MCU variant, as well as the Alex Ross Mephisto version. And on the last page, with, I believe, two, one full and one, I mean, they're probably going to call it a cameo, but it's first full. And a small panel face, too. Of Scythia Chemian of the Bachi. Okay. Whatever that is. It was hard to give these and organi organize these in the top ten. So I'm just going to tell you what I found. Okay, number three. Now, I, I might get some controversy for this. Silver Surfer Ghost number two. I, I Am I crazy? Or I believe this is the first appearance of Ghost Light. Now, people are saying Silver Surfer 5 from the 60s or 70s or whatever it is. But... I think it was just the first appearance of Al. In this book, you know, it shows him here. He's got like some little things in him. I forgot the name. I'm sorry. But it works with the suit. And he like, he's like complete in this issue. So 
Is this the first appearance of Ghostlight? I don't know. You guys tell me what you think. Uh, I just think, to me, it seems like it is. Anyway. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> number two is X-Men Deadly Regenesis. The number one. X-23. The Akka Woman History cover I love. Now, the 10 copy Vazulda design cover is first cover appearance and full appearance of Haymaker in the book. Yeah, he's in the book for a while. He is a previous character from somewhere else, but he takes on the name Haymaker, I believe, in this, in the last page. Uh, but he's in the book, just not in that costume. So I think it's a first full appearance of him. Not that it means much. Okay, this is interesting. Number one, Amazing Spider-Man number 21. First of all, I'm putting the Disney cover up there. Okay, they jump back a year because no one knows what happened with Mary Jane and stuff. I don't want to spoil it too much, but there's a character called, they call him Scribble Man. I don't remember him. He kind of self-names himself the Emissary, but he eventually touches Spider-Man and like does some curse on him or something. I think that's where they're at now. He's like cursed. Um, but when they do it, they show this picture and, um, and the bottom left corner is the character is like a God or something that is on the cover of number 22. So this is a cameo of that character and possibly a first appearance, full appearance of scribble man. Cause he's in the whole book or the emissary. If he appeared before, I can't remember. Uh, but there is a cameo of that character that's on the first cover of 22. So, yeah, it's an interesting story. I think it's going to become uh, really good. So I can't wait till number 22 comes out. Okay, let's do the giveaway. Remember, you guys, comment something. You other 2,300 people that just watch, that's fine. Make sure to subscribe and throw down a comment. Be like, what's up? Or it doesn't matter. Or tell me your favorite comment, and you will be entered in the giveaway. So, the person, I'm going to do the giveaway right here. You're going to win these two covers. This book is hot. And this one, that's dope. I, I So, I, I don't know. Uh, Tim Rabroker. Ray Broker. You won. So, please, message me on Instagram. Another thing, you guys, this text me on Telegram crap. You guys realize when you're getting messaged text me on telegram that is not my name my name is economics and comics so if i message you it's just gonna say economics and comics not text me on telegram economics and comics that's all fake i only announce the prizes during this video live and the name and uh you have to message me on instagram so if you see that telegram stuff no it's not real um that's it guys uh congratulations Please watch the top 10 pre-order video now. I'll put it right at the end of this video. And thank you so much for watching. We'll see you later.